Good, Good morning. morning. Hey, happy Friday. Morning. Happy Friday, Farmer Michelle, Riant. Hey, Volcron. How are you guys? Doing pretty good. How about you? <clears throat> um, I'm good. I'm happy. Do another AMA town hall. <clears throat> if you guys are watching this on YouTube, make sure you're subscribed and you click like and turn on the bell so that you don't have to wonder when we start. Although we're really good at starting on time. So um, yeah, you can watch it on YouTube. Um, we're doing an experiment this week. Before I get into like all the hellos and all that, we're doing an experiment with uh, our friend Good Paul in here is um, going to be, I think, putting some text from Twitter, uh, formerly known as Twitter, on the screen. Oh, there we go. First time watching on Twitter from Hefe Sailor. Dubstep Rod, good morning. All right. Well, um, guys, this is super fun. Thank you, Paul, for setting that up. I love seeing those little pop-ups. We've mm -hmm. been doing these, if you're new to it, for over two years. <laughs> we started it when we turned off uh, nightly uh, rewards. And, of course, we brought nightly rewards back. Uh, I don't know what's it been, like six weeks or something. And, um, yeah, and so you do this through daily challenges. It's awesome. It's fun. And uh, let's see who we got. We got O-Town, Cat on Keyboard, Dub Step Rod, ED Lugs, Water Familiar Faces, Vulture, Hey Man. Will Bake, Unfamous Games, um, all kinds. Of, oh, Homeboy. Okay. Got Solara. All sorts of guys. So, yeah, thanks for joining in. Um, we love talking to you and all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to share a link real quick in Discord. If you have questions you want us to address two weeks from now, click on this and fill them out. Fill it out at any time. And you're always welcome to DM um, any of our red names there in Discord from Michelle, Riant, Volcron, Wild Moopsy, if you have questions about the game. So, all right. Well, headlines. What's up, Farmer Michelle? Um, all the rewards are up to date aside from that one blueprint still. The, the Hasty Beekeeper 3 is still pending. Um, I don't think the leaderboard deck is updated from last week yet, but I will get that updated at the end of this town hall. Hmm. All right. There there was some discussion on Discord this morning about different ways to earn, um, or sorry, get rewards and things like that. And um, if you're new to the game, you might think, okay, I see practice mode, I see common drown, I see competitions, I see daily challenges. Is there any way I could just play the game, maybe even practice mode, and get an NFT, you know, without spinning gala? Is there any way yeah. you can? Okay. Yeah, we do a uh, free we do free NFTs once a month, right around the end of the month. Well, it's usually the beginning of the next month, but they end at the end of the month. Uh, with their storage NFTs, are usually item specific. The one for November happens to be lettuce, so we've got a common lettuce storage which stores up to ten lettuce. Um, you can get that from playing on like, ten different days throughout the course of the month, and making at least twenty five trades throughout the course of the month. I get to play on 10 separate days. You have to log in on all 10 separate days. You can't just set it up on day one and let it run offline for 10 days and log back in. Mm. We've also got a rare one, which is the same thing, but for 25 days, and that'll hold 40 lettuce. And uh, like I said, they change every month. You get a different different storage NFT. The art is also mm. super cool every time. Our artists do a fantastic job making these things. Mm -hmm. The only other one we have is the uncommon one, and that's for uh, Common Ground World node owners. You run six hours a day for at least 10 days throughout the month, and you get the uncommon also. And you can get all three if you do all three of the requirements. I noticed that last month. Um, yeah, that was great. Uh, Grok this beat me to my pun. I was going to say, let us have storage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. Any other updates from Michelle about upcoming events or holidays? or? Uh, just a reminder that there won't be an event the week of Christmas. We're all taking the week of Christmas off for events, so there won't be an event that week. But we will have one the following week on New Year's. Okay. Um, and we are still going to run daily challenges during that time. Yes. Yep. And if you're run, if you own a Townstar node and you're running that, you will continue to receive dirt or possibly soil by then. So that is correct. Uh, awesome. Okay. Well, let's move on to game updates before we talk about, um, all the cool stuff, the meta and the sale and all that game updates. Um, We've been really cheeky or shy, or, or not shy, but trying not to do spoilers. We're working on something that we haven't really talked about in any AMAs before, 
it's um i i still can't tell you directly exactly what it is till it gets through qa and everything but i can give you a little hint about some of the stuff it'll let you do um one of the things is if you're low on cash in the game this will be a way that you can get cash pretty quickly we're looking at um also letting you relocate an existing building so i i know a lot of you guys that are listening are like pro players and you never make mistakes and that's cool uh but for the rest of us sometimes we put a building <laughs> or we don't want it um or maybe your strategy involves moving it i know you know my um uh wind not windmills but my um wind generators are i have to move those guys all the time so might be very handy for that and other reasons um uh okay so i hope you all kind of think about what that might mean for your strategy um if you were playing the daily challenge yesterday you might have seen um spoiled soil in there that was pretty fun <laughs> very hard and um today i think is honey so you should have about uh what about nine more hours to complete that oh eight more hours and yeah. um yeah so get at it no reason not to and uh yeah so other stuff we're doing is our data system improvements this is one of those things that's a little invisible to the players but what you will see uh, when we're done with this is fewer data bugs when they go live you know things like unit run speed or this guy doesn't deliver to this building or that building things like that this price is wrong or things like that so we're improving that i'm gonna uh just along the way i'm gonna drop an image in discord real quick this is just a small feature i added yesterday just a nice to have um because our data system is so it's getting improved so much that i was like hey let's just stick stars in here so when you're selling something you know how many stars it's going for um so, so awesome to finally see that there <laughs> yeah well because it could change your strategy right you don't yeah you know so yeah i hope y'all like that it's amazing uh, next up is dirt to soil um yeah as far as the dev stuff goes we're testing it out here we have nightly runs in our sandbox or qa environments um we're seeing that and we want to make sure that all the reports and everything are good too. So they're looking good. You know, it's things like what was the total distribution? Who got paid? How much did they get paid? How many town points did they get paid? Or how many nodes did they have online for how much time in order to get paid? Just want to, we want to be real, uh, real clear about all that. So not just for legal, but also because it, you know, we want to be fair and fun. All right, guys. Let's see. Oh, welcome back, Moise. Um, Q&A. This one's for Farmer Michelle. Can the devs make the cake storage store all the crafted items from the cakery? At present, it only stores three types of cakes, and that doesn't make sense. Uh, no, when we oh. first sold them, uh, we had had like a community-wide vote to decide if pies were cakes or if they were not cakes, and we decided that they were not cakes, so the pies weren't going to be stored in the cake storage. That was how it was determined when they were sold. I mean, that doesn't mean that it won't necessarily change in the future, but that was that was what happened before they were sold. Hmm. Yeah, maybe in the future it's going to be more specific uh, cakery storage. Okay, makes sense. Next question is about 10 points. Um, this player is saying, uh, just had a question about Vox and town points. And, you know, Vox were distributed in buckets. There were five buckets. Uh, do you guys have more info on that? Oh, yeah. There's a whole chart right in the FAQs for which Vox will get which points. Um, it's right there in the facts all the time if you want to look at it. I, it's been a while since we made this chart, so I don't remember the exact details of how it was figured out and how the numbers were decided, but they were decided on, and that's what they're going to be. <laughs> hmm. All righty. Yep. Next one's for Riant. Um, could you tell us how many more NFTs with earning points are going to be released? Is it infinite, or will there you know, ever be an end? Will there be a cap over a certain time? Or what? what's the... Do we have any more details on upcoming nfts yeah so our current idea is to uh, allow new users to uh, play in with uh, rewarding nfts and uh, play with their daily challenges and having a primary source 
way to obtain them from the official Gala store. So we're going to have uh, all the new NFTs provide uh, reward points that they can play in daily challenges with. Uh, the uh, rare NFTs will give five town points, epic 10 and legendary 20. Okay. I'll paste that into chat. That makes sense. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for that. Uh, next question for Riant Win Soil. Ooh, well, just like Bulker mentioned, we are already testing in our uh, sandbox environment. Probably early December, but I cannot uh, be for sure. Okay. We want to make sure everything's all right and smooth to create the to token and uh, distribute it to everybody. One quick question from Sparkle, uh, which are sold with earnings. Or sorry, with rewards. Um, yeah, there was some wording they thought they thought they meant that all, uh, all missed new word ones. new. Yeah, yeah, all new ones. <laughs> oh, good question from Drock. Does this mean every new NFT we sell will be an earning NFT? I don't know yeah. the answer. Oh, it's true. Yes. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, <clears throat> last question. You guys keep coming with live questions if you want. Um, Farmer Michelle and I were looking into a couple players, too, in specific, that when you came out of Fast Forward, your NFTs were yoinked off of your town, and you're like, hey, wh what the heck, it's still in my inventory, why was it yanked off my town? Um, we do have logs when that happens, and NFTs change hands, so in both of these cases, it, it really did look like your NFTs were not owned by you while you were offline. Now, that could mean... Um, that maybe the person you borrowed it from, if you're in a guild, maybe they yoinked it back. You know, the guild owner can do that. They're like, oh, I need that NFT. You know, it's kind of rude, right? But maybe not. I mean, that's, you're borrowing it. Uh, but maybe they pull it back while you're playing. Um, another way it could happen is if you actually, tra if you don't, if it's not from the guild, if you actually own it and you transfer it via Gala Chain to somebody and then they transfer it back which Gala has made very affordable. It's one Gala right now, right? Um, well, if you do that while you're offline and you come back in, our system at the start of offline, at the start of fast forward, it says, oh, you didn't own this the whole time, so we're going to yoink it. So be careful and send us DMs with your user ID and any screenshots if you're absolutely 100% sure that you definitely owned it, the owner didn't take it back and all that. And if it's a bug on our end, we'll we'll say sorry and we'll fix it for sure. Um, let's see. I didn't really see any other live questions while it was happening. Just a question about the NFT, which we'll go over in a little bit. All right. Why? <laughs> Tantrum. Why do you keep hating the golden apple trees? What? <laughs> what do you mean, man? They craft even faster. They craft 75% per, faster. Cornucopia crafts 50 All right. Um, let's see. Will we see Vox claimable in Daily Challenge before Soil is released or going live? It's not on the roadmap. Right? Uh, so, Rian, I don't think we're going to prioritize the Vox box or anything. Not yet, but it's in the roadmap, yeah. Okay. Eventually. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Sorry for my wording. I mean, it's not in the roadmap before soil. Okay. Um, meta slash event. Farmer Michelle, how hard is it? Uh, this, this week's event's going to be easy. It's pumpkin pie. We've all done <sighs> pumpkin pie a ton of times. Pumpkin pie is one of our older recipes. So everyone's for sure made pumpkin pie, unless you're new. If you're new, it's still easy. Six pumpkins, five sugar, 10 eggs, and a cakery. It's not a bad build. There's plenty of water. There's salt there. There's no mountains to cast shade. So you should be pretty good. Um, it's the same biome and map and everything as the pumpkin pie event that we did last year during uh, Thanksgiving. I think it was the first week of November. So anybody who was playing a year ago should already have a town set up saved if they save their towns. I know a lot of our players do that. Uh, so it, it should be pretty easy. Um, the only cash boosted item is pumpkins. They're going up from 1,000 to 3,000. And the pumpkin pie stars are going up to 100,000 from 816, I think. Hmm. 
Awesome. Should I paste that image in there? Is that a screenshot of what it'll look like? Yeah, go for it. It's okay. in the announcements, and I know it was on the YouTube screen. All righty. Sounds good. I'll paste it in a sec. All right. Well, is it time to move on to the sale? Sure. We'll have the Cornucopia releasing today, uh, which is our Thanksgiving NFT. The Cornucopia, which is a symbol of abundance, as you can see here. Uh, it's a legendary NFT. It will be out for sale today at 11 a.m. PST. It crafts corn, all three kinds of grapes, apples, and pumpkins 50% faster. Uh, it doesn't require any uh, ingredient to craft them, no water and no food. It's not affected by negative proximities, and it's a quarter the size of a regular building, right? Uh, it's, it has no unit assigned. It's the top priority for farmers and tractors. It doesn't require wages, doesn't, doesn't need wages, doesn't need a road, casts no proximities, and it will feature 20 town points for daily challenges. Ooh. There will be 150 units that to be sold uh, starting uh, today, 11 a.m. PST, which is in about three hours. And it's going to cost $329.99 in the Gala store. That is beautiful. Look at that thing. It is a really cool looking NFT. It's very beautiful. And you, said, and you said it's one quarter the size, so you could fit four of them on a tile? Yeah, you could. What about the stacking, like the effects? Is it, does it make sense? Would would it make sense to have more than one? You could have, you make it uh, create more crafts. Yeah. Okay. Man, that's awesome. These artists, I swear. Thanks for uh, designing that too. The art team is amazing. Coffee cake, ooh. Like tiramisu from the Italian cuisine. Oh man. Yeah, tiramisu is good too. Uh, pumpkin pie meta needs loads of pumpkins. Okay, well, ED lugs, I, I agree, it does need a load of pumpkins. All right, uh, guys, I don't have any other updates. Do you, do you all? Uh, I, don't. I can't think of anything now. Okay. Well, nice, short, and sweet AMA. Thanks, everybody, for joining in. Have a wonderful weekend. Yeah, happy Friday. Thanks, everybody, for joining in. All yeah, right. Have a good one. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Goodbye. Bye-bye.